everybody, it's a crazy fan girl shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the eighth episode of season seven of Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Now, I'm not going to lie; the last few episodes have been really disappointing. Um, you guys know that I haven't really been enjoying the series recently. Um, these past few episodes that have involved Ahsoka's return to the Star Wars universe has been really disappointing in all honesty in my opinion um and i just hope that things get better after this because the last few episodes yeah again haven't been that great so i'm just gonna jump in and hope that this episode is a little bit better than what we've had previously so anyway let's just jump straight into this and i hope that this episode is good but before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more tv shows video games and movies so without further ado let's just jump straight into this Ooh. Where is my spice? I hope you know that, Rafa. I feel like that hits her hard now. Send them to go get it and give them one rotation. If they don't... I feel like she's gonna, like, give herself up. Just pausing. I feel like Ahsoka, um, now she's over the fact that, you know, like, she wants- Because, you know, obviously- And we've seen this with previous seasons, um, and I think this was interesting to bring up in this part, because, you know, she's tried to be nice to them, she's tried to, you know, tell them, like, to trust her and stuff, and yes, she said it again, but now she's like, I don't care if you want to be my friend or not, it's like, I'm getting you guys out of this situation, and I'm gonna do it my way, um, whether you like it or not, like- whether she looks like the bad guy to them or not, it's like she's she's ready to like sacrifice like that you know that bond with them. So I think that's very interesting, especially because we've seen that with her throughout the all the other seasons where she's like you know she's always been friendly. She always wants to try and be the friend who helps and stuff. But now she's like she'll be the friend that helps, but she doesn't care if those people like her or not. So that's like a big deal. Ooh, weapons. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, is that a com link? I'm pretty sure. Oh, now the fact that they're coming back means that it's gonna ruin the plan for Ahsoka because she expects them not to come back. Maybe I think. Who's that? <gasps> Darth Maul. Yeah, that's Darth Maul. I've seen that red strikes anywhere on that face. <laughs> now things are warming up. I knew it would get better in this episode. Does Ahsoka know who Darth Maul is? I can't remember if she's ever like seen him before. The transmission lock. Let's find out where you are. Mandalore. What's Maul doing there? I knew you were no Oh, he's already there on Mandalore. Oh, now's not the time to talk about it. Do it after the chase. <laughs> oh, now they're working as a good team. Oh. She's right. We got in over our heads. Without you, we'd be done for. They did get in over their heads. I consider you my friend. That's a bit weird, but understandable. Oh. Oh. I need your help. Once we're underway, I will explain everything. But if I go down this path, I'm afraid where it might lead. Back to the Jedi. Back to the Jedi? Yes. And to her big brother. Nice! Okay, this is where Ahsoka's true story is beginning. Um, 
Again, this episode was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. It was much better than the other two episodes we got in the last two weeks. Um, I absolutely love where this is going because obviously now we understand that the Pikes were working for Darth Maul, obviously, and that was their, like, you know, big plan of working for him. And obviously Ahsoka put a stop to some of their plans and... Yeah, apparently he's on Mandalore already, which throws my theory out of the window of what I said a couple of weeks ago. And um, it's going to be really exciting to see what happens. So it's obvious that, like, now that we've seen this, like, it's obvious that she's probably going to be working with these three Mandalorians and probably a group of them who are obviously against... Oh, wait, yeah! Now I remember. Of course Darth Maul's in Mandalore. Of course! I for completely forgot about the last season where- Oh my god, I'm such a dumbie. You guys are probably just like, shy me, what the hell is wrong with you? I forgot that he took over Mandalore in, um, the last few seasons. And then he kills, um, Satine. He takes over Mandalore and just, yeah, completely changes that. So now it makes sense, obviously, that the Mandalorians who were present on, um, Mandalore and who weren't obviously part of the Death Watch because it's no longer happening anymore, um, uh obviously rising up against um, Darth Maul, which is very interesting. It's great to see that, and I can't wait to see, like, the development that goes on there, especially with the Mandalorians um, trusting Ahsoka. Um, again, that's going to be very interesting to see if they do trust her and, like, how much trust they put in her. Um, I think this episode was testing that, and I think Ahsoka um, will really learn that lesson of, you know, like I was saying before, um... They may not be friends, but they have to learn to trust each other no matter what. Like, they may not get along, but the trust has to be there for it to work. So I think she'll have to probably put that lesson to the test in the next few episodes. But also, this means that she's going to come into contact with the Jedi again, which means she's going to see her big brother and obviously Obi-Wan, who she saw as a kind of like a father figure so I mean that's gonna be oh, that's gonna be so nice to see them all together again and I hope we get in person um like contact with one another like where they are in white right in front of each other talking like that'll be really great I'm not sure if that'll happen but it'll be interesting because I want to see what Ahsoka thinks of like what Anakin's going through like especially during fighting and maybe more interrogation because she did see this dark side of him in the last few seasons before she did leave the Jedi. So now that it's gotten worse, I wonder if she's going to um, step forward and say something if that kind of happens. Um, that'll be really, really interesting to see if anything happens. And yeah, oh, I cannot wait for the next few episodes. It's going to be great. Um, this episode was a little bit weird with the changing of... Um, behavior from Trace and Rafa, um, but I mean, I pushed that aside because I mean, like, this is the last, probably the last episode we might see them for the rest of the season, which, ha, huh, that's kind of a good thing, but at the same time, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode because obviously it introduced this new problem to Ahsoka because she recognized Darth Maul and now she has to, you know, step forward into her fear of becoming a Jedi again and helping. Um, I wonder if she's going to build her own lightsaber again, just, you know, to have her own, or if she's going to get her own back, maybe. Oh, well, actually, she'll have to build her own, maybe, because, you know, she has the double lightsabers, so that'll be interesting. I can't wait. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the eighth episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars. I enjoyed this episode. It was a lot better than the previous episodes and I'm glad that we are finally past this few episodes and we're gonna s finally dig our teeth into the rest of the season which I'm hoping is going to be a lot lot better than the past like two episodes we've gotten. So yeah I cannot cannot wait for the rest of the season. It's gonna be amazing. But thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Pango out. <laughs>